Okay, today I want to talk about email. Um, there are really three separate um, protocols that are all related to email uh, in a general sense. Uh, the first is SMTP, which stands for Simple Message Transfer Protocol. And what this system does is it allows you to send out a message to your internet server and from there have it route out to its final destination. Once it arrives at its final destination, it's stored on that mail server until uh, an email client grabs it. And the, the two major methods of grabbing that are IMAP, which is Internet Message Access Protocol, and POP3, which stands for Post Office Protocol version 3. Now, there's pros and cons to using each, and uh, it's a bit... It's a bit confusing which is best to use. The reality is each has a, a very excellent place, a, a real good reason to use it, uh, depending on what you want to do. Uh, specifically, Post Office Protocol version 3 or POP3 uh, is excellent if all you want to do is just pull down mail onto a single client. So if you have uh, a single computer that you're accessing things from, say Outlook or Thunderbird or whatever mail client you use, and you don't use anything else, POP3 is fantastic because it's quick, it's simple, and it just works with everything. Um, IMAP, what's nice with it is it works for synchronizing two or more uh, applications. So if you have, say, uh, a BlackBerry or an iPhone or um, several computers or all of the above, uh, and you want to be able to read the same messages across the board, uh, then IMAP is uh, the system for you. In addition to that, IMAP allows you to organize uh, a hierarchy of messages. So you can have your inbox, and then below your inbox you can have, say, business documents, personal documents, um, calendars, uh, uh, contacts. You can have all sorts of things all put into a, a series of folders that are arranged hierarchical, hierarchically, um, to allow you to uh, pull down that information and sort it. Um, once a message has been moved from one folder to another, that message reflects across the board to each of your different clients in uh, the same folder. In addition to that, if you have a large inbox, um, say a gigabyte, um, IMAP allows you to uh, pull down only the headers and not the entire message. So if you have you know, uh, several dozen messages that have come in, um, what this allows you to do is only pull down just the headers and the data on the headers, and when you want to read it, then uh, it pulls down the entire message. Otherwise, it only pulls down just the, the barest details that it needs, and therefore it runs a little bit faster. Um, on a smaller mailbox, um, you know, uh, say a few hundred messages, uh, POP3 actually runs a little bit faster because it doesn't have to sort through the whole hierarchy of uh, folders in order to figure out which messages to pull down. Um, one other interesting uh, detail with IMAP is when you mark a specific message as read, it shows up in each of the clients as having been read. So you don't have to synchronize across all of your clients. So for example, if you're you know reading a message, you're out on the road and you read your message on your iPhone, um, when you go back to your office and sit down at your desk, you'll find that uh, that message that you have read on your iPhone is marked as read on your uh, email client. Uh, again, this is different than uh, POP3, where you would have to mark it as read in both locations. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the basics of the differences between IMAP and POP3. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to uh, drop me a line. Uh, you can reach me uh, at binkster at gratisites.com, or you can reach me at sales at uh, gsweb.ca. Either is fine. I welcome your questions, and um, I hope you have a great day.